The growth in popularity of tennis in China has come a long way. And despite the inclement weather in Beijing, the fans were still flocking to the Olympic Green Tennis Center to see some of the game's top stars close up. And they don't come much bigger than the number two seed Rafa Nadal, who met Adrian Manorino. Manorino is just one for 16 against top 10 opponents in his career. And he didn't look like improving on that stat, as Nadal was looking inspired in the first set. What a shot from Nadal. He's walking on water at the moment. Well, you have to feel a little bit sorry in many ways for oh, Manorino. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's what came flying back down the court at him. Oh, such clean hitting from the Spaniard. The opener wrapped up in just 29 minutes. Nadal met more resistance from the Frenchman in the second set, but always seemed to have one extra shot in his locker. Oh, oh incredible! What a point! Inspired from Nadal. Arena must have thought he had his man there, and how he'd love that point back. A good workout for the number two seed, but Nadal safely into the quarterfinals. Yeah. He's done it. It was rather harder than it appeared it would be after the first set, which was about as comprehensive as it gets. But Nadal's level inexplicably fell away. Manorino got some confidence, found some aggression and asked some questions of the former champion. Ultimately, he's come up with the answers to book his place in another China Open quarter-final. There was a fascinating clash on paper as the exciting Luka Puy took on Grigor Dimitrov. The first set went to a tie-break, where Puy, who captured his maiden ATP World Tour title last month in Metz, nosed in front. It's just too good. He's found a different level just when he needed it, Luca Puy. Six, three, three. Trademark forehand. Puy started the year ranked as high as 90 and is up to a career high world number 16. And he served for the match in the 10th game. But Dimitrov fought his way back, then appeared a changed man in the tiebreak. to bagel his opponent in the tiebreak. How on earth did he win that point? Murray's defence and then a thunderbolt of a passing winner. He is back with a bang. Now with all the momentum, Dimitrov continued his comeback and got the go-ahead break in the fifth game of the decider. And there it is. Is that the decisive moment of this match? Dimitrov very much on the front foot. A superb fight back from the Bulgarian was then complete after almost two and a half hours. The Grigor Dimitrov Revival continues. He's through to the quarterfinals of the China Open, recovering from the brink of defeat, two points away from losing to Luca Puy of France. I mean, I was just believing. I think I was just believing today, uh, especially that second set. I mean, he was serving for the match, and you know, I felt I was playing a good tennis. Just missed a few, kind of a few opportunities early on in the first set. Uh, and throughout the second, he actually was playing pretty good. So the only thing I could do is, you know, keep myself, uh, you know, composed, trying to hit every ball that I could and uh, use every opportunity. It came a bit late, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Unfortunately, due to the persistent rain in Beijing, only two second round matches were able to be completed on Thursday. But there was still hope for clearer skies on Friday.